Hello everyone, it's Agnes from Just a Perfect Peace coming to you with another Trash to Treasure uh, makeover. Here is my favorite um, sort of a tray, a ball on a little leg that actually cracked and I cannot fix it because if in order for me to fix it, I need to, to break it more. So I decided at the beginning to go ahead and use the hot glue and just go around it, but obviously it's not working. So I brought it up, um, the E6000, and I just simply follow the crack. Do you see how weird the crack is? It is just like in a almost getting ready to crack. So of course I need to reinforce with the hot glue and it's really not that important and you know what's happening inside. So I hope I'm going to be all good. So now it's time to spray paint it. Just because I do wanted to paint it with the chalk paint, spray paint or Mod Podge is actually uh, giving, um, giving the nice uh, surface for any application, especially a chalk paint. So there's no way the chalk paint is going to peel away. So as you can see is I dipped into my bare uh, chalk paint it's actually a linen color and I'm just stippling with my chippy brush all around it um, just to get a little bit of the texture. So I decided to use my suede um, uh, suede uh, paint from Deco Art. That for sure is going to bring me a texture and a little bit of uh, of another, um, you know, chalk paint right there to mix it. I do not want it to mix with the ones that I've been using. So let's see what's going to happen. So now look, I am just dabbing mostly into the lighter color of my chalk paint on a little dish. And then I'm just only adding a little bit of uh, my suede uh, chocolate color paint to it. And I'm just like stippling all around it trying to create the texture and I'm not really worried that in some areas I'm getting more or some areas I'm getting less some paddings are just stronger than the others it's okay we're just going to have fun and, and I have to tell you a lot of times is when you do that when paint dries it dries actually a, a lighter so let's just see what's going to happen Wait a little bit for it to dry. So, and then I just decided to use a little uh, wipe and just simply smear all what I was doing and see what I wanted to do with, with it. And I have to tell you, the suede actually brings already a beautiful finish to it. And now look how pretty that looks. It's literally starting to look like a little faux cement uh, piece of it. And I'm, I'm just, as I'm doing it, obviously my hands are full of uh, a paint. And of course, the inside of my um, tray, I did not have any plan for it, but you know what? Now I'm actually thinking that I may um, also put some finish to it. So this time, instead of spray painting, because I did not want it to now jeopardize whatever I've done on the inside, I decided to use a Mod Podge. And Mod Podge is another good um, um, you know, agent that will hold the chalk paint to any um, slippery surfaces like glass or ceramic. Okay, so I got the good a coat of the Mod Pot right on it. Now I need to dry it up a little bit and start my application with the uh, um, chalk paint and whatever the mix I have. And I'm just going to simply smear it because I do not want it to have a similar look to the inside that I do have it on the outside. So I'm just going to use mostly the uh, suede portion and of course I'm going to dry it out and then I'm going to just dab it up all around um, with my little sponge um, the uh, a little bit of the lighter color of chalk paint yes I could have used the uh, the paintbrush but you know what I am here all for the texture so I am looking for texture not as big as on the on the on the outside but I do want it to have imperfections I do want it to actually as much as I can camouflage uh, my little cut right there I mean my little crack right there so as you can see is this time I was not waiting for it to dry all what I'm doing is taking the same um, um, the uh, uh, wipe and I'm just wiping it all around um, and just creating some sort of um, you know line lighter surface to whatever it's on the outside and I'm actually super pleased with whatever I see and I have to tell you and now as I'm going out there I think I wanted to add a little bit more of a lighter color to my outside of the dish but then as I was adding I decided it's time to bring some 
aloe um, color from deco art into the occasion and just dub it white with green uh, just all over the place randomly completely no order whatsoever i just wanted to make it look like it's you know getting moss seeds getting some kind of um weathered look to it but it's again it's all about trying and if i do not if i do not like it i can always wipe it off but now i decided to just spread it out with my uh, little um, wipe and then see what i'm going to get from it i absolutely love to create those fall finishes to to things like i am just dealing right now i would never think that i would ever in my wildest dreams uh do something to my favorite tray but you know what better to do this than just throw it away so now i'm adding the same sort of a mix with green and white to the base and then we're going to see as i'm looking at it i feel like it's time to add the wax to obviously everything has to dry out so now i'm starting with a dark um, wax just again dabbing it here and there and then i am actually smearing it with my uh, clear wax brush see now all of a sudden look at this all those little greens all the the brown i mean it <laughs> literally everything starts to come out so beautifully and i cannot wait for all of it to dry to really get the colors out but you know what i will be playing around and of course as i see those gentle hues of gold i feel like you know what i think it will be okay to add some gold to it and look at those colors i mean the camera really doesn't show as much but it's just it's just gorgeous now look all of a sudden all my dubbing and all this imperfections that i was creating looking pretty good so <laughs> getting my brush out to the middle protecting it because you know at the same time i do want it to protect my hard work right there so obviously I need to wait and majority of the times I did actually use my um, clear wax but now I knew what I said so I'm bringing my gilding wax the gold and I'm just going to add it here and there just on the higher areas on some of the areas where my suede has little imperfections there obviously on the corners I'm just randomly adding it to so just bring that additional sheen to a suede and I am so pleased looking at it but I don't think I'm going to stop there can somebody take the gold out out of my hands I was just actually having so much fun that I said well maybe that hot glue little crack that I was doing in there I should accent but then you know what I changed my mind simply because that's not going to be visible even if it is going to be so it got a little bit so guess what I brought my liquid gold leaf and I decided to simply outline it all around my edge of my um, ball and then maybe bring some uh, little dots here and there of the gold leaf in the areas where um, where it's not really covered as much so it looks like you know the gold from the old oh here we go I spilled something I gotta wipe it off before it dries here we go and it goes pretty quick because it did have a wax on it and I usually like to apply the gold leaf right after the wax is done because I do want the the gold leaf to really shine that's for sure i love what i see and i'm not going to stop with my gold even though i close it up so i decided to add where my uh, leg meets the ball that's where i'm going to add a little bit of the gold and of course randomly and then as i was turning it around there are some areas where i did not actually add a lot of the uh, um you know fab i mean not the uh, the chalk paint so i decided to highlight those areas with the gold leaf just like this randomly and follow those little you know corners um and figure it out if that can actually look um super rustic there so let's see what's going to happen here we go um i think it's going to look good I absolutely love the randomness it seems like it used to be a while back a gold ball and now it becomes sort of you know in time um, aged love it love it love it so here is the pictures of the close-up look at the colors I mean it's again the uh, the uh, um, the pictures are just not really showing the full justice but all that sheen and like all the variation and a suede look to it I absolutely love the way my uh, ball looks right now 
and I will for sure enjoy it with another um, decorations in it. And now even the other uh, beautiful um, bushes of the hydrangeas right in it absolutely love my project so i really hope that you did enjoy this project and i did inspire you to create one for yourself and look at the uh cracked dishes your favorite dishes a little bit differently so it's again thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe bye